else guys? No, I'm joking. Hey, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Um, ignore the voice. I actually thought I'd just woken up because I woke up a while ago. Um, I've just, I don't know, I'm feeling a bit, not run down, but I think I'm a little bit like, uh, and I think I just need to, my voice needs to warm up a little bit more. But at the same point, I really wanted to film this video, so we're here doing it. I've got a lot of stuff to do today, which is hence why I'm doing this now. And I haven't drunk much today, so that's probably another reason. Anyway, <clears throat> we are here with another video, and for those of you who don't know me, my name is Amelia, and I upload book content, such as reading vlogs and book content. Bless you! And book content, and if you do enjoy that content, then please give it a thumbs up, please comment down below, and please subscribe. And please follow my social media that are linked in the description, you'll have my book. Instagram where you will get all updates on every book I read because I post them there first before my YouTube so if you want a like more like up to date um, book content then my bookstagram account is the one to go to bear with me one moment I'm about to put my fan on because I'm quite hot now like not hot hot but hot enough so for, so for this video if you haven't grabbed a better title we are here with a wrap up and hopefuls so I am doing my June and July hopeful wrap ups my June and July wrap up in one um, I did explain it in another video but I didn't read enough in June Why well, I could have read enough but at the time I was like wasn't sure so I decided to wait until July to get July reading done as well and then do a wrap up joint in one and I think it's worked out perfectly there's six books in the last two months which it's pretty good and by the end of the month it'll probably be seven but I'm putting it in my August hopefuls because I am filming this on the 22nd of July. Now I know that's quite early for a wrap up but I go away at the end of the month like literally on the 28th, 27th I go to Gatwick and I fly on the 28th till the 30th and I could film it on the 31st but I just think I would be, I've got a lot of stuff I need to do that day um, and I really just don't want to like, and also I'm filming and I'm starting another reading vlog that week so I don't want to um think about filming because I've got a lot to get through that day so I'm filming it now and I'll explain the book in the August hopefuls but first I'll talk about the August hopefuls but yes so let's start we're talking about the June hopefuls the June hopefuls oh my god my June wrap up let's get on with it as mentioned I read a th three books for in June and I can tell you all books that I've read in the last two months have all been for videos as most of my other books are but I kind of enjoy it that way but I'm still going to do the wrap up even though you probably got the answers in there um we started off the month I'm pretty sure I was pretty, I started this in the end of May no did I you know what I can check on my good reads when I started this book yeah I started this on the 21st of May and finished it on the 8th of June and it's Twisted Hate by Anna Hong I actually need to get up my story graph for this because I don't remember the rating here, I think this one follows Josh and Jules. Josh is Ava from the Twisted Love's brother and Jules is Ava's best friend. And this is literally the most amazing enemies to lovers romance I've ever read. So many things, I it was it literally, it was so, oh, I don't know how to describe it, so good. Um. I remember reading this and being like in shock, especially at the ending. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but I definitely think this is a really good book. This is, this is as good as Twisted Games, and Twisted Games was my favourite one of the books so far. Like, by far, Bridget and Reese will always have a hold in my heart in some way or another. I love them. Um, but this one is as close. I'm pretty sure I gave it the same ranking that I did, because I just couldn't help it. I, I literally ate this one up. It was so good. I gave this a 4.75 stars because it wasn't a 5 star read for me, however it was so close. So close. The story just was immaculate, everything about them. And just the, the, the dynamic was amazing, like the how they fell in love and then how they fell apart and then they fell back in love was amazing. Just, oh, I love it. And the other stories, like, there's always some kind of dark stories in these books. Like, it's not just, well, I say that. Like, in the first book, there was, like, mafia, it was kind of like mafia, I guess. It wasn't really mafia, but Alex had his own little, like, going on, like, this fighting journey, like, was trying to get revenge. And you see the French, um, Alex and Josh, who used to be best friends, 
and they're like dynamic in this book and I'm trying it's it's the story of you get the love story but you also get the friendship stories and I'm like obsessed like I loved it absolutely loved it so 4.75 for that I then finally and I say finally because I kept saying last year I was going to pick this up and I didn't I finally read It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey this book I'm so glad I picked it up. I really enjoyed it. It was a really fun, cute, challenging story. And I love Piper and Brendan's relationship. So it was a nice coffee. It was just such a cute, fun, challenging story. And I really enjoyed it. It was such a good read to read. I, I will say, I wasn't the biggest fan of the third person, like, writing. Like, saying her longest relationship on record. And her this and him this and that I, I wasn't a massive fan of that you know I'm going to turn my TV off save, save electricity while filming um but I did enjoy the story I enjoyed Brendan's story and Piper's story and they're kind of coming together and everything it was beautiful um I read this for um my Instagram followers choose my next read video so if you haven't watched that video go check it out um, I don't think it's the last, it's definitely not the last video, but it's probably the last reading vlog I ever did. So go check it out. Um, I gave this a 4.5 stars. It was a cute story, I really enjoyed it. It was enough for me to be like, it's high ranking, it's just not high enough to be a 5 star. But I was good. I didn't have any 5 stars in June, which is kind of sad, but I did, it's fine because July made up for that. <laughs> um, but I did really enjoy this. And then finally, for that same video, I read When in Rome by Sarah Adams. I remember picking this up before even, I even picked this up from the works in like January time. I had not heard anything on social media about this book at this time. Um, so when I picked it up, a lot of people had read it and spoke about it, but before that I hadn't heard anything. So I went into this, um, when I bought it I was like, mm, it's a cute, it looks, it looks cute, and that's it. I read this book, Red and Rome was such a cute story, I really enjoyed it. It was um, about a girl called Amelia, not me, but obviously but I, I i literally say it's me because she's living the life i used to dream of having i used to dream about being a singer a famous singer going on the road and she's living that life and she's obviously not enjoying it as much as oh well, she needed a break and so she goes to rome kentucky um and i meet noah who is a small town guy and it's such like the romance in this story it's such an easy read it was a cute read like how it all started and I absolutely love it it made me laugh it made me smile it was just so much fun and I loved it I know everyone goes some people go they don't like this one it's too cheesy and they prefer the second one I have got a second one I just haven't read it yet however I really enjoyed this book I gave it a four star because it was just an easy read it was cute it wasn't enough to be a five star, it didn't get my heart like going, but I loved it. So those are my June reads. Let's have some black coffee again because it's like get cold. I don't drink coffee during the week because I don't like white coffee. So when I come home at the weekend, I will drink a coffee. Because it's my coffee. We're going to move on to the July reads because I actually, you are going to see this before you see the vlog. But I am reading popular book talk for, pop, reading popular books from book talk for a video. And it is actually part one, I'm actually going to do another one later on in the year. Um, however, I have done that. But you will see this before you see this video, so you will get my wrap ups before you see the vlog. So if you want to see an in detail vlog of me reading it, then check it out when it comes out very soon um it should be very soon because the reason it is is because i'm still reading one more for it and yeah so we're gonna start i started off the month with the deal by l kennedy this is a very old popular book talk book i think i don't think it's as popular i think it's still popular but it's not talked about as much as it was when i started reading last year but i just never got the series until this year and i was like i'm gonna put this in there because i really want to read it and i felt like it was still popular enough for me to put it in here so I started the off campus series with The Deal. This book follows Garrett and Hannah um, at college, obviously, and Garrett is a hockey player, Hannah is, a, um, is studying music at college, and she ends up tutoring Garrett. Um, and it kind of gives Duff vibes because 
she was like tutoring, asked us to tutor him because she got a good grade and he was trying to then make her seem interested for a guy she had a crush on and it's such a cute story I literally loved it I ate it up it was so good my reading in July considering like I'm pretty sure I finished when I wrote at the beginning of July anyway but I also think considering we're only like three weeks into July and I've read three books in July so far it's saying that July was a good reading month and I feel good about that um, but yeah, this book was everything. I gave this a five star read. I told you July was a good month. Um, five stars for this book. I know it's cheesy in some ways, but I loved it. I ate it up. This was giving me vibes like Better in the Movies gave a five star read. I remember doing that, and that was so, just so, so cheesy. And that was like, I wanted to say high school, I don't think it was college. This was just like a step up from that. So good. I absolutely adored this book. I love Hannah and Garrett don't know how I've lived my life so long without them in my life but definitely 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 loved this book the second one I read in um July and I actually finished this last Sunday and I'm still not over it and it is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaris this book has been going viral I swear and for good reason because this book has a hold on me <coughs> in everything in any way possible i absolutely love this book i was dreading it when i went into it i was like i'm not sure if i'm gonna like this one i've got a pain here maybe i'm talking too much i need to breathe i saw someone wearing jeans and i don't know why i'm wearing jeans but it's fine um i absolutely love this book and i can definitely say this book is not going anywhere from me and I've already pre-ordered. I pre I don't pre-order books usually, I usually wait till they're out and then I'll buy them. I pre-ordered this book. It comes out, the second one comes out in November, Iron Flame comes out the 7th of November. Um, same day as Lauren Ash's new book for the Lakefront Billionaire series, so I also pre-ordered that one. However, I pre-ordered this book, the second one of this book, straight away because I need to know what's going to happen. This book destroyed me in so many ways, but in a good way. I absolutely loved Fourth Wing, I loved Violet, Soaring Girl, so this book follows, it gave me Divergent vibes, it follows Violet so Soaring Girl who is, was, wanted to go to the Scribe Quadrant, um, I should really explain, Fourth Wing, it's about quadrants, and the two quadrants you really hear about, there's, I think the Healer Quadrant as well, um, Healer, um, Scribe, and then the Flight, the Riders Quadrant, that's the one, and Violet's dad was a scribe and she wanted to be a scribe and but her mum and her sister are both riders and her mum wanted her to be a rider and forced her into it so there she's because she goes to the riders quadrant she's very clumsy she always gets hurt she is um probably someone you wouldn't expect to survive the quad, um riders quadrant which is kind of like in Divergent you wouldn't expect ca um Triss I think it's Katniss that's Hunger Games you wouldn't expect Triss to survive Dauntless, however she did. Um, I've only seen the first film, I, I've not watched the other ones. I know they leave after that. But I really love this book. And then you meet Dane, who is Violet's childhood best friend. You meet Rihanna, um, who is who becomes like Violet's best friend in the quadrant. And then you meet a guy called Zayden, who at the beginning, of, there's a guy called Jack Barlow as well, but he is important to the story, but we're not going to talk about him because he's not... I don't care about him. I don't like him. He's a dick. Um, and then you meet a guy called Zayden who, at the beginning of the book, you think wants to kill Violet because of something that happened in the past. And it's so good. The story is amazing. I, I won't tell you too much, but I didn't give any spoilers in the vlog. However, I did give my opinions on certain things. And you can go check that out in the reading vlog. That will come up very soon. I don't know when. Hopefully after this one but before the end of the month who knows <laughs> i have no idea um but I, I gave if you couldn't tell i gave this book five stars i literally love this book so much with my whole heart and i literally can't like if i could give this infinity stars it would get infinity stars because it was so good so good oh and then the final book i've read in july so far is happy place by emily henry 
I finally got around to reading it, and but bearing in mind, I've read Book Lovers, you, um, Beach Read, You and Me on Vacation, and now this one, and my least favourite was Book Lovers, so that was her most recent read before Happy Place, and so I went in with this thinking, okay, I like her older stuff more, like, I liked You and Me on Vacation, I didn't hate it, I didn't love it, it was good, it was average, I loved Beach Read, like, my favourite Emily Henry book I've ever had, I went into this book with very, very low expectations. I was like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to like it. I'm hoping to like it, but I'm not sure. I actually fell in love with this book. I gave this a 4.25 stars. This book follows Harriet and Wynne's relate love story, but also their friendship groups from like uni with Sabrina, Cleo, Kimmy, and Path. And they have this like holiday home, holiday home they go to every year and it's getting sold and so they go one more time and try to relive like everything that they used to do together in hol on holidays and it's a beautiful story i love it it was really good i felt i did fall in love with the characters but i, I wouldn't say it was my favorite book still not my favorite emily henry book but it's close to it. it's my second favorite which i'm really happy about because i do really enjoy this book um so yeah 4.25 stars for happy place we're now going to move on to my August hopefuls, but I'm just going to get some water quickly. Okay, we are back. I am now here with my August hopefuls. I've actually got quite um, an ambitious August hopefuls here. And I will say, and I say this I think in every wrap up when I do the hope hopefuls part, even though they're hopefuls doesn't mean I'll get to them. And I'm not putting pressure to get to these books. They're just ones I kind of hope to read in the month. Um, so, yes, but I have got... A video that I'm really excited to do and I've chosen to do it in the week I'm basically off work apart from one day so one day I know I'm gonna fail and I can say this because and I'm gonna say this at the beginning of that video I'm kind of writing off Tuesday and Saturday because Tuesday the Tuesday of this week I'm not gonna be at home at all I'm gonna be at work then I'm gonna be backstage for a shower I'm not gonna have time to sit at home and read the Saturday I will be at the show for the whole day basically so again, not going to have time to read. So I'm usually going to do this Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. And that's five days, so I potentially could get it. I'm basically going to be reading 200 pages every day, which is why I can't do it, what I wanted to do. But it's fine on those other days because I just don't have time. And there's no point of stress on myself out because I'll put the, I would put the stress on me and I'd be like, no, I can't do it. And I'll stay up till like really early hours in the morning and I'll be too tired. Not good, not a good look. Not a good look. But we're just going to get on with the August hopefuls. First of all, we're going to go with one I'm already reading, which I will probably finish in July because I'm hoping to finish it this weekend. However, um, I didn't know if I would finish it this weekend and I'm not putting the pressure on myself to do that. And I'm also not... I wanted to film this video. So, it will be. this will come in my August wrap up video, but I'm just saying I'm probably going to finish it in July. But it is Flawless by Elsie Silver. I'm on, I'm on chapter 11. I'm about to start chapter 11. I'm 27% of the way through. I am reading it for that popular book talk books video. And I am really enjoying this book so far. I've only like, read 10 chapters and if I read 10 chapters I'm really enjoying it. There's only, so I'm wondering how much more I can enjoy it. Like, I've got like just, over, just under 300 pages I guess left of this book and I am really enjoying it so yes this is what this book follows Rhett and Summer it's the first one in the Chestnut Spring series and it follows Rhett and Summer Rhett is a bull rider and Summer is basically put there to basically babysit him um because he's kind of got a bad reputation at the moment and I love this it is good the, the bull rider part is giving me longest ride vibes by Nicholas Sparks I've not read the book I've seen the film though, and I loved it because Scott Eastwood. So it's, that part is because the ball riding is giving me um, longest ride vibes. The rest of the story isn't; it's just a ball riding bit. But it makes me understand the ball riding bit a little bit more because I watched longest ride. I don't need, I know they don't give much of the ball riding, but you kind of get a glimpse. So yeah, I'm enjoying this book so far. So yes, I will be finishing this one in July, or yeah, and it will be when August wraps. So that is one I definitely will be getting to. I'm already reading it. The next one that I'm definitely planning to get to is the one I'm going to pick up next. It is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling. Um, I, to your surprise, to anyone's surprise, who, if no one knows me, I love Harry Potter films with all my heart. And I love the first three books. I've read the first three books. But I, so I promise myself within the next two, three years that I'll get through all the Harry Potter books. 
Um, I haven't read a Harry Potter book this year. I read three last year, and I'm not read one this year. And I'm like, okay, I need to now. So this, I need to. to I, I, it's now finally time for me to pick up the fourth book of the series. I am not a massive fan of this film. But I like the concept of the film. I just, I think I really did, I watched it for one reason only. A lot was Robert Pattinson. So when my crush for Robert Pattinson went, my obsession with that film went. And it kind of, not ruined the film for me, but I just didn't enjoy it as much. But it is a good story and I'm really excited to get to read because I know the books are so different to the films in some ways. Not so different, they keep, but it's like, it's obviously going to have more in it. Because they only can fit so much into a film compared to a book. So, this is what I'm going to definitely pick up next. I'm actually going to hopefully finish that one this weekend so I can start a weekly reading vlog where I start it. And because I'm doing the 200 pages of a week, I'm hoping by the first or second day of that vlog, I can finish this book. Um, yeah, I'll put that there. The next one is Addicted for Now by Christian Becca Ritchie. I really want to get through the Cal Addicted series, the Addicted to Calloway and Calloway Sister series. And this is the third one in their book. This one follows um, Lo and Lily. Lily and Lo. Um, again. But it's like I'm so excited for it. I just really want to read this one. I want to get to Kiss the Sky. Although I really want to read it for my book cover I've got. Which is really annoying. Because um, I could, I might actually have to break my book by man Just to rebuy that book on Thursday. And Tuesday I get paid. And then not buy any more books. Just that one. Um because I really just don't like that cover. It is to the point where it's making me feel physically sick just, think, just thinking about it. That's bad. I just hate people on a cover. Especially when my other books have got the not the cute covers and then that one's just got the person's face. But anyway, I really want to read this book. Um, I want to see what happens next because I finished with Ricochet and was like so eager to know how they get, how their relationship is now going to work. Because it's going to be an interesting one because obviously it's just interesting the next one I want to get to and I want to pick back up because I started it a while ago for my bookstagram my favourite bookstagram my favourite booktube is choose my next read and um, I started it for that video and then I just I don't know what it was I just wasn't interested in it to the point where it was just put me into a slump so I just didn't read it and I was like you know what I need to find a new book I need to do a different one I, I didn't I was putting like a soft DNF like I'm not DNFing it for good like I've definitely DNF how to kill your family for good I just don't ever want to pick it up a cup again this book I really want to pick up again because I like Magnolia Parks the first one and I want to get to Magnolia Parks along my home and I do want to find out the story I just needed to take a break but now I'm really wanting to read it so I think I'll pick it up after Harry Potter and it's Daisy Hates the first one I am on chapter 16 um, of this book which is 22% as my Goodreads keeps reminding me 22% um, of the way through the book so it's a good chunk of the way through so far I just I think I started it all at a really busy time um, for me like show week was approaching and so much was happening and I just wasn't in the mood at the time to read this book but I am now getting into that mood to, to read it so I'm hoping to pick it up again soon and read it the next one is because i really want to film a video where i, I finish i um i catch up on i try and finish series or at least read a book to get through the series which is why i picked up my dick for now and even daisy hates because you know part of a series and this one is kingdom of the feared by kerry maniscalco i'm in a real fantasy mood right now like since fourth wing all i can think about is fantasy however i don't want to read too much fantasy at once because I'll tell you something, if I read too much fantasy at once, I will probably go and say no, it's a lot for me. I have to take, have a fantasy then, but break it with a few, very much books in. Then you've got Harry Potter, which is fantasy. So, which is like, it's like fantasy, it's definitely fantasy, and it's magic. Um, there's not really a romance in that. There is like romance in it, but not that much. Like, if you think about Harry Potter, it's not really romance ish Um, but yeah, so I want to read Kingdom of the Feared, because it's the last one in the Kingdom of the Wicked series, and... I absolutely loved the first two and I just want to find out what's going to happen and what's finishing so I'm going to definitely read this hopefully. I am going to hopefully finish this this month. Um, I'm trying to get through my hardback books so I don't have many much left because I actually hate hardback books but um, also I just want to finish this book. I want to finish this series now because it's the last one. I need to know what's going to happen. So...
And then we got two more books, and they're both for series videos, the series video as well. And the first one is Twisted Lies. Obviously, I just spoke about Twisted Hate in my June wrap up. Um, so I would love to get to Twisted Lies. This book is the last one in the Twisted series before I can get to the King of Wrath. The King, uh, the, that's that series uh, by Anna Huang uh, because it kind of follows on from there. But I'm really like wanting to finish this book series. This follows Christian and Stella. Christian is kind of like he worked, he had a thing with a, a work thing with Reese. Um, oh, that's close. In like the Twisted Games, he is the owner of the like place that um, Stella and yeah, Stella and Jules live. Um, so as Stella is one of the best friends of Ava, Jules and Bridget. So I'm excited for the story. I'm excited to wrap the story up and to see what happens here. So hopefully we'll get to this. And then finally, and this one I'm not apprehensive of getting to, but it is again to get through a series. And it is A Court of Wings of Ruin by Sarah J Mass. The first two books of the series have been a real shock to me because it really shocked me how much I love the series and I really want to see what happens next. Um, I've heard mixed reviews about this one. My, one, of my fr one of my closest friends really enjoys this book but a lot of people also on YouTube and booktube and I've like said this is not their favourite. So we will see if I enjoy it whenever I get to it because I'm not guaranteeing myself to get through to this one in August because uh, quite a few of my books are quite hefty chunky books and yeah so but hopefully yeah that is the end of this video if you do enjoy it then please give it a thumbs up please comment down below please subscribe and I will see you again soon with another video thank you for watching